beautiful beings welcome and welcome back to my channel I'm Caitlin and for today's video we are going to be discussing ways to tap into your masculine energy and your feminine energy so let's get right into this video Okay, you guys, so masculine and feminine energy, everybody has those different energies. It has nothing to do with gender. Everybody has, has these two types of energies, and you connect to one of those energies while you are doing certain things. Masculine energy is more about doing things, and it's actually action-oriented, while feminine energy is more of just being and existing and tapping into creative intuition and things like that. So let's give some ways that you can tap into masculine and feminine energy and just practice on balancing those things. I think it's a great thing to tap into both and really just get that nice balance in life. So a couple ways you can connect more to your divine masculine energy is going to be things that have action, like I said. So more things that have to do with your physical body. So high intensity workouts like maybe heavy lifting, intense cardio, things like that, like things that are really gonna get your sweat flowing and your body moving. So high intensity workouts would be a great way to connect to more of that divine masculinity. The next one would be like to really focus on your goals, on your to-do list, on your tasks, whatever you have going, focus. You wanna make sure you get things done. So planning ahead and really having that self-discipline within yourself and disciplining yourself to get things done. But while also getting things done, you wanna have that social interaction. You wanna go socialize and, and really just go out and have fun with people you love, like really get out there, have fun and gain some confidence, which confidence is another one. You wanna have this confidence and just connect into your confidence, like build up your confidence. It's a great thing to do. And just build that up because building up your confidence is gonna help your, is gonna help your spirit connect to the more of the divine masculine side. Kind of along with confidence, you're gonna to wanna to be more courageous, brave, learn to be brave and learn to take more risks in life. And you could take bold risks, just little risks, like build yourself up. Taking risks is really connecting to the divine masculine energy Energy. and it's just it's just this crazy wild energy that is also very disciplined and it's just great so these are just some things that connect you to like the masculine energy side of things but while you were doing this you have a sense of direction in life and these aren't things that you guys can just just tap into they are things that you need to work on some of us will connect to masculine energy more than to feminine energy it just comes naturally whatever comes naturally to you but these things I believe that we should be able to balance so if you are better at one of these things than the other these are just a couple of ways to connect to the masculine energy I think I'm more connected to my defined feminine energy just because I don't know like I just feel like that but some of you might be more connected to the masculine and not as connected to feminine so just like try to kick in both sides so let's get into some of the divine feminine things that you guys can do to connect more to your feminine energy so feminine energy is more about taking things very slow and, and connecting to like nature and things like that just having a very slow paced life so things that will connect you to your divine femininity will, would be things like meditation and just connecting to your inner self so meditating journaling things like that things that are going to help connect you to your inner self and you're just at a calm state of mind along with this type of energy it's going to be surrendering control so instead of being con having control of every single thing that is going on you're going to notice that you don't have control in every aspect of your life and you're just going to calm down and know that you don't have control and that's okay you don't always have to be in control so things like that you can go ahead and go dance and just dance free just just move your body like but like just move your body but not to the high intensity of like the masculine energy you just want to dance freely or just move or sway doing lower intensity movements like yoga dancing maybe swimming like not like hardcore swimming but like swimming i know i like to do that i just like to do slow laps in the pool walking things like that just really low intensity movements that really that are really just going to connect you to your feminine side like i kind of said earlier connecting to nature is going to be a really big factor of connecting to your feminine energy you just want to connect to nature go on hikes go on walks outside go go meditate out in the woods or by water go sun gazing go moon gazing just enjoy nature and enjoy every little thing about it because there's so many things to enjoy about 
our world. There's so many little things to enjoy about nature. Like, it's just a little thing. Go ahead and enjoy those little things in nature. Another thing would be, like, things like self-care. Um, doing nightly rituals, morning rituals for your self-care. Just doing some self-care that makes you feel happy. Any type of self-care is going to really help you connect to your feminine side. Resting your body as well. Taking naps or just relaxing and just enjoying the present moment. Also, cooking. Um, creating things and nourishing either people or yourself like these are very feminine things whether cooking yourself a meal or cooking you and your family a meal your your partner and nourishing that could go with self-care and it could also go with cooking and taking care of people like if you have a partner and they're sick and you take care of them like that's connecting to your feminine side open and also open your heart up to receive love I think that you should do that either masculine or feminine but it does connect more to feminine energy and the last one is living by the moon is living by the moon so you really look into the moon cycles you take care of your body in different cycles like your menstrual cycle you just take care of your body in the ways that in the ways that is needed because during those certain times you need certain different foods or certain teas things like that those are just a couple ways to connect to your divine masculine energy and your divine feminine energy so it's just these things that you need to learn to balance in your life you don't want to be too much of one and too much of the other or you do some stuff over here but you don't do any over here like you want to be able to balance these in your life this is going to make a healthy mind healthy body when you balance these things out in your life this has nothing to do with gender at all like everybody like I said at the beginning has these different types of energies we're all born with them. We just need to learn how to balance them and connect to each one. Try to do some of these things that I mentioned to lean to the other and learn to balance. So I'm so happy I was able to make this video for you guys. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. And I hope that it helps you and you guys kind of like get it and learn to start balancing it. Because it would be a great thing for you to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And go ahead and click that little notification bell so you guys know every time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys would like, go ahead and check out everything on the side right here. If you can't find my accounts, typing them up. They'll all be linked to down below in the description box for you guys to find. I hope wherever you are in this world, you are having a beautiful day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!